Today I wanted to show you how to view and grade your Google Form responses. Hello, I am Mrs. P. Tarleton, all about technology, teaching, and treasures. Welcome back. If you're new here, please say hello in the comments. So you've already created those wonderful Google Forms. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the data. The first one we're gonna take a look at is when you have multiple versions in one Google Form. So here I am in my Disney trivia quiz that has multiple versions in one Google Form. So if you go up here, you see I have four responses. You can see the data here, but notice up at the top, this is out of 11 points because it's gathering all the points from all the different sections into one. Now each section, each quiz only had three questions. So it does give you some basic information, not really useful, I don't think. So we need to go here, create a spreadsheet. We want to create a new spreadsheet. And here you have your data. You have the timestamp of when the student took the quiz. This is their email address. Notice here, this is their score. It says two out of 11, but we know there was not 11 problems. So highlight the column, go to data, go down to split the text in that column. Right here, the separator that we want, we want that forward slash. So we're gonna do custom, type in the forward slash on your keyboard. Notice it automatically splits those two columns, which is exactly what we needed because that 11 is not very useful. Go back up, I'm gonna click on the row of data and I wanna put the percentage score to the left of that. You can put it to the right. I like to have it right next to the name of my students. So to do that, you're gonna insert a column to the left. So we had D highlighted, so it put it to the left of D. We're almost there. Here we have to write the formula. The formula is equal, open parenthesis, save a step by clicking on the box. We want this data here in D2. That's column D, row two. And we wanna divide it, which is your forward slash, by three, because we know there were three questions in my quiz. Close bracket, and then we want to shift and then the number eight key to get that asterisk times 100 and then enter. That's gonna give us our percentage, but I don't like all those decimals behind it. So click on the cell. And if you go right here, you can get rid of all those extra decimals. There is your percentage. The only other thing I would do is type in the label for this column as percentage. Now. We don't have to do that for every single score. If you hover over this little blue box till you get the plus sign and drag it down, it is going to fill this column with that same exact formula. You can take this information and you can go ahead and enter this into your gradebook. If you wanna take a look, you can actually see your students' multiple responses, see what they answered in all the different versions. Now let's take a look at the data when you just have one single Google Form quiz. With only one quiz, it's multiple choice, so it's automatically graded for you. Notice this quiz has five questions, all multiple choice. We have three responses. And this data shows you that there's a total of five points possible. And it gives you some nice bar graphs here. All of our respondents either scored a four or a five out of the five. Frequently missed questions was this one. Tells you that the scores are not released. This is the one where only one person has it right. Notice this one, everybody scored 100% on this question. So it gives you some useful data there in the summary. If you look at the questions, you can look at it by question or you can look at it by individuals. And it does tell you the first person who took it earned four out of five. The next person who took it also four out of five. And then the last person who took it got a perfect score. If you want to chart something that you can have that'll show you the percentages really quickly, go up here, create a spreadsheet. And just like on the last one, we're gonna split the data. So highlight the column, data. We wanna split this column. We wanna split it where the 
forward slash is. So type in the forward slash, press enter. It automatically split my data. I'm gonna insert a column to the left because I like my percentages close to the name. Type in our formula, equal, open parentheses. This is the raw score divided by, I know it was out of five, close parentheses, shift eight to get the asterisk. We're gonna multiply it by 100 to get that percentage. Press enter and it shows you the score is 80%. So four out of five is 80, that's correct. Again, drag this down. It will convert all of them to percentages. And here you can easily see your data on this spreadsheet as well. Bonus tip, you can actually take this data and convert it to or download it as a PDF. This would be something very useful to keep in a gradebook, file, download, and you can of course change it to Excel or whatever else you'd like. I like to save it as a PDF. Once you do that, there it is. You can print it. Here you can export it and save it to your computer. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the quizzes that need to be graded by the teacher. We go to the responses. Showing us total points is zero. That's because nothing's been graded yet because we need to go in and we need to actually grade this. So if you click on individual, you can go person by person. So this is the first person who took it and you can actually input their grade here. It would be zero, save that. And you would check every single one of the questions. This one is correct, so I'm gonna give it a point. Save that. Notice it changed it to green, and you would do that for each and every one of your students. The easier way for me, I think, is to create a spreadsheet. Let's create a spreadsheet. And here you can quickly take a look at all the answers. I would insert a column and then I would just go through and I would review the answers. So in this first one, I would just take a look, grade it, and I see that they scored two points. The next one, type in how many points they scored. So once you go through your list and you've graded all of these, insert a column to the left. And we're gonna do that same formula, equals, open parentheses, click on this, D2, and it'll put the information in there, divided by, I know there was five questions, close parentheses, and multiply it by 100. That will give us our percentage. Get that box with the plus here, drag it down, and it will calculate all of our percentages for us. Sometimes what's easier for me to do, if I click on the column, take one column at a time. And if it's right, I would just highlight it. Going down the list, that's how I would grade it. And then you can just go back across and count up all the green boxes. So once you've gone down all the questions, column by column, then just go back and scroll across so I can see all the questions and just take a look at how many boxes they had that were green. And I would put that number here, do the same thing for every single student. So for me, that would be the easiest way to grade these one question at a time so that I can compare answers as well. Hope you found this video helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.